Okay, so this video is a response to Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid is working on a very neat project right now. He's done a lot of neat stuff. You should really check it out. Um, and in his video, he's trying. One of the problems he's having, he's he's trying to use a Kurt VGA six 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 board with his Raspberry Pi. Um, I've never used one before, and although I had toyed with buying one, I never did. I just had too many things going on just to add something else on there. But you know, once he said he was using one, I thought that's good enough for me, and I went and I bought a pair. Uh, so, uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to try and help uh, Billy out uh, with, at least with this, you know, with getting, you know, the GERT VGA 66 working with a Raspberry Pi. Now, okay, uh, as you can see right now, I am on the GitHub page for the GERT VGA 666. And there are some instructions on here. Uh, there aren't a lot, um, which usually, you know, doesn't still a lot of confidence in me because you know usually something like this as small as and simple as this requires a lot on the back end but hopefully you know it's really just as easy as they say it is so let's give this a shot now let's scroll down so the first thing it tells us to do is that we need to edit the config.txt file on your raspberry pi and usually you know what you would do is boot into raspbian or whatever os you're using uh, in my case, I am using Raspbian with the Pixel desktop. <clears throat> and you issue this command and edit the file right you know, on the Raspberry Pi. But um, you don't need to do that. So what I have is a you know, micro SD card reader. So I just plug that into my USB port. And I have the micro SD card in there for the Raspberry Pi. And it should mount. And there it is. And we can open the boot partition there and go straight to the config.txt file. Okay, so uh, this one has already been configured. It's uh, uh, for my iMac G3. It's one of the ones that I've been using uh, in the videos that I've made. Now, <clears throat> this section here is where I've configured it uh, to use the uh, uh, HDMI to VGA adapter, HDMI group 2, HDMI mode 18. And this is for a 1024 by 768 resolution uh, at 75 hertz. Now, okay, this is the first thing I did, but it really should have been the second. No, no, it has to be the first. Um, up here it says that we must disable SPI and we must disable I squared C. And it's in bold, so that means you got to do it, right? Bold always means you got to do it. So let's go and find our SPI stuff and our I squared C stuff. So as you can see right here, I do have it enabled. And this can be disabled by simply commenting it. So I will disable my I squared C stuff. SPI stuff is down here. It was enabled as well, and I will be disabling it. Okay. Then it says, add these lines at the bottom of the file. Okay, let's do that. All right. All right, it says you also need a fire screen resolution. <clears throat> After the lines you added above, you will also have to then add one of the following configurations. And so as you can see, it says DPI group and DPI mode, and so it seems analogous to the HDMI group and the HDMI mode. Okay, so we will copy that. We'll copy that and then modify it to be 2 and 18, like above. All right. Then I'll have to comment what I had here before. I don't know if that you know will work, but I will disable it for this test. You know, um, just in case I have no idea. You know how if the two interact with each other, the HDMI and the DPI. I, I'm assuming I could have left that you know just the way it was, but you know just in case I will be disabling that. Okay, um, again, I'm making an assumption that this is the analog of this and that these values line up with these. And so I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. Uh, so I went over here uh, to the Raspberry Pi uh, video configuration you know, page 
and read up a little bit on this, and it, well, here where it mentions DPI group and DPI mode, right? It says that, uh, so the parameters are used to set either predetermined modes, DMT or CA modes, as used by HDMI above. I'll take this to mean that I indeed can use the values they list here. And so that is the assumption that I will make before spending another X amount of time trying to figure out if that's true or not. And just turn it on and see if it works. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this is the analog of that. And so you see we've made these mods, okay? And according to this, that's all we need to do. I hope so. Fingers crossed, toes crossed. And um, let's just go over this one more time. Okay, we added this bit to an 18 and um, disabled SPI and disabled I squared C. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's hope this works. Okay, I'll be doing this test here in the kitchen. A uh, small little work area I usually do this in is filled to the gunnels right now uh, just with a lot of stuff because I've been working on a honey-do list for the last month <clears throat> and so I literally can barely walk in there. Uh, so I got permission to do this here and uh, this is where I will be doing it. All right, here's my Raspberry Pi with the Kurt board attached. This is a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, I don't know if it's a 3 Plus or a 3B or whatever it is. I just know it's a 3. I really couldn't figure it out. Uh, the wiki, or rather the GitHub page for the Kurt 666 VGA board says that it needs to be a 3 Plus or a, or a B3 or 3B or 2B or something like that. But it needs to be a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, there is no mention of a Raspberry Pi 4. That's something I'll try later on. But first, I wanted to test it out with the three, which is, you know, what is documented on their GitHub page. And so it's hooked up to the iMac G3. This is powered on already, so it's warmed up. And so now I'm going to power the actual Raspberry Pi. I'm going to plug this guy in. And let's see. Okay, we have the four raspberries. Okay, and it booted into the desktop. And all seems good right now. The colors look good. And I mean, it's as sharp as you know, it was when I was using an HDMI to VGA converter. Um, and, and this looks good. I'm pleased with the results. And this was actually pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, I will call this a success. I'm very happy with this. And I may even start using this board from now on instead of an HDMI to VGA converter. This is really nice. Hopefully, you know, this can help somebody else do this. This is really great.